Why did P-38 wings kill pilots? Lieutenant Robert Morrison's hands trembled at 28,000 feet. His P-38G flew perfectly, and every gauge read normal. Yet Morrison was dying. Three minutes later, he lost consciousness. His lightning dove toward the Pacific before Morrison recovered at 15,000 feet, and he remembered nothing. Across the Pacific, P-38 pilots reported identical symptoms. But here's what made zero sense. Only early P-38 showed symptoms. Later, P-38 Jace never did. Yet engines were identical Allison V-1700. 10s. So was this enemy action? No bullet holes? Maybe oxygen failure? Full tank pressure? Then carbon monoxide? Impossible. Exhausts were external. But why did America's most advanced fighter turn deadly at high altitude? Early P-38s buried intercoolers inside wing leading edges. Long channels snaked through wing structure, cooling supercharged air. This elegant design kept engine nacelles streamlined. But a single .30 caliber hit breached these hidden channels. And carbon monoxide flooded cockpits at exactly the altitude where it bound to blood 250 times stronger than oxygen.